Right then, here we are. This is how I'm going to tie the rig. A very simple, basic bottom bait rig using all the components in the box. So first of all, take some of the Vardis skin line, strip back sort of two or three inches. And it says stretch back nice and easy, releasing the sort of supple inner core. Do then a very basic overhand loop knot for you to attach the bait to. Then take one of the straight point uh, G-force hooks, feed it in exactly the same way as I say, just going to tie a very basic knotless knot. So through the back of the eye, down over the stripped piece, and then just a standard knotless knot. I prefer sort of four or five turns down and say at the end of the day it's going to hold it nice and tight for you. And then back through the back of the eye and out through the front. What that creates then is a supple section for the bait to move around with, and then leaves you obviously this hairline section. Take your uh, free pot boilie, knock it onto a needle, push it on. And so I like to have mine sort of a small gap, sort of three or four mil from the base of the hook. And get one of the hair stops, and it's obviously that just locks the bait in position. Nice and subtle as well, and not one of these big gaudy stops. Pop that in. Put it down nice and tight. So what you end up with then, as I said, is a small gap between the bend of the hook and the bait. And then on the top there, I just fancy, uh, favour an overhand figure of eight knot. What I do with that is I do actually create quite a long loop. Because what that does then is when it's when it's out in the lake and it says it casts, it actually creates a boom section. So you can see a long loop there. When the tubing's over one end attached to the swivel, that's actually a sort of doubled the material over and that creates a stiff boom. So as it goes out with the lead flying forward, it'll stop the tangling properties. And we also show you a little tip of how to stop the hair tangling as well because it is just a basic knotless knot. The hair can spin around the bend of the hook We'll show you a little tick, trick on how to get that out before we get out into the lake. You see a nice and easy rig, nothing complicated, no rings, no bits and pieces, but that will catch you carp every single time. Now moving up the line, I say we got onto the uh, fluorocarbon leader from Carp RS. Ultra, ultra invisible, so it's got the light, same sort of light refraction as water. So carp can't see it, heavy as sin, so it'll actually sink in a nice straight long line. One thing you have got to remember this, you will need to steam it. When it comes out of the packet, it has got a little um, sort of form to it because it's been in the packet. But literally just run it over a steaming kettle a few times and it'll get rid of all the kinks. Nice and straight, nice and strong, so it'll actually be abrasive resistance as well on the bottom. Very, very simple setup. Yeah, again with the bits that are in the box. Got a standard lead clip and then obviously you've got the lead that comes in the box as well. Just thread that through, the leader pushes straight through down onto the swivel tail rubber obviously to lock the rubber the um, lead in place yeah again it's saying make sure when you are putting these on little saliva wet it on slowly push it on you only need it to be nicked on you don't need it to push on you don't need it to be super glued on what you do want is that lead to actually come off if it gets tangled on anything so with this as well because of the swivel pushes in it's a semi fixed rig so when they pick it up they feel the weight and then it'll pull away so the fish can't use that. You see them on the underwater films, they shake their heads to try and use the lead to eject. That'll actually pull off. But what you do want as well is if that gets snagged in any way, shape or form, you want the lead to easily just pop off. So make sure you're not pushing it on and certainly not gluing it on. So that's the uh, fluorocarbon leader. As I said, there's not a lot on there for it to be uh, seen. So if you want to be ultra, ultra careful, you can just nick a little bit of putty on along the line. It'll break up the sort of straightness of that and it'll make it extra heavy. But as I say, you cannot get a more simple setup. Teamed up with the simple sort of knotless knot rig, it's going to be dead simple. Every single time it's going to catch, and every single time it's going to cast out nice and easily for you. Right, so we've shown you the two sort of independent parts of it, and then just simply with this, is it put your long loop that we've created, wrap it around the gizmo link on the fluorocarbon leader. Cool pull your swivel into the bottom yet yeah, again it's a, it's a semi fixed rig so if the fish does take and really go for it it'll actually pull that off and then so that nicks into there that long loop that we created and say creates that double hinge 
so it will actually blow away from the uh, lead. And then what we've done here, as I said, because that is a simple knotless knot rig, that will actually could possibly tangle. So what I've done is just team that up with a little bit of uh, pellet in a PVA bag, and you just simply pull that through, just to make sure the hook settles in between the pellets, and then that hair will just sit out the back end of it. So as it casts out, that hinge keeps it away from the lead. As it sinks down, that'll go onto the bottom, and then you have a nice little freebies around your sort of hook bait. And I said, the free hook baits that come are, are fantastic sort of proven catches as well. So teamed up with a little bag of pellet or a little stick mix, that's really gonna do the damage. So there we are, a simple, simple bottom bait rigged fish with no bits and pieces, no jangly bits and pieces, but that's gonna catch you carp wherever you go. So from Pondit and myself, another month done. Fantastic, hope to catch you on the bank.